Uh, it's pretty much about a pre-med, uh, a pre-medical student named Olivia Moore who's a zombie, but she's a functioning zombie, meaning that she can think, she can speak, she has emotions, but in order to maintain those human faculties, she has to consume human brains. So instead of killing people, she uh, works at a corner office where she has access to the brains of dead people. Uh, one of the side effects is she inherits the um, memories of these uh, dead people. Um, I play Detective Clive Babino. I'm a rookie homicide detective, um, desperate for my first collar, and uh, uh, I meet her because she ate the brain of the person I'm investigating the murder of. So they pass on her psych her her those visions as uh, being psychic powers, and I go with them. <laughs> I go with it. I run with it. I'm like, whatever can help. So your character knows the brain? No, I have no idea she's on me. Okay. I have no idea. I have no idea. I just think she's like Miss Cleo, uh, something like that with psychic, psychic powers. So, 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 uh, is, it, is it the world that we're looking at in the show? Is it a supernatural world where there are things that your character knows exist that are supernatural? Or is it like our world today and this is all under our noses but we have no idea? Yeah, it's kind of like our world today, but there is an underground supernatural world. Um, I kind of represent the majority of the world who has no idea that there's zombies and maybe other, you know, creatures, you know, out there. Um, but it's supposed to, you know, take place in the real world. And um, and like I said, I don't, I have no idea that she's a zombie or that there's you know, other zombies in, in our in our universe. So before you meet her, do you believe in? psychic at all or is this like are you a little bit hesitant to buy into what she's telling you? You know, at first he's he's hesitant, but his desperation takes uh, uh, takes precedent over him being so you know reluctant to believe her. But he does tell the story of how his great aunt Debbie was a psychic, and um, he, um, they get closer as the show gets you know keeps going, and he reveals about you know he tells the story about his, how his great aunt Debbie was a psychic, and a lot of things she said you know, came true, and he really really you know believed he believed. In it. So, do I believe in psychic? Yeah, 100. Yeah, percent I do. I do. Have you ever been to one or had the experience? You know what? I did. Uh, I, I'm not gonna lie. When I was, I think uh, I called. Remember Dion Warwick had psychic psychic friends, and then remember they they, they started having like uh, reenactments. Like you know, there was the person will come on the show, and they'll have somebody play that person to reenact. You know what their story. I'm like, Oh my God, look at that production level, it's so great. <laughs> um, but it convinced me to one day call. And I won't go into details what I called about, but I could not believe the person who answered that phone asked me three questions. And there's no way she could have known the answer. And she didn't know me from anybody. And she she was she, she was exactly right. What she said literally as soon as I got off the phone transpired like within that hour. Yeah, so I, I believe it because of my own personal experience with her. Now is this gonna be a case of the week or is it gonna are your cases gonna be more drawn out if you look for these suspects? Yeah, um, so far as I know I think there's gonna be a case of the week element to it. There's also something that uh, uh, it's, it's a continuous storyline through all the episodes as well. But um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a combination of the two. Do you interact with any of the other characters, or do you primarily stick with interacting with Blake? Yeah, just pretty much uh, Liv and Robin, the Doctor. That's that's all. So far, all my interactions have only been with them so far. Playing a detective, but do you have to research into your ultimate goal? Yeah, you know, I played a lot of bad guys in my life. Uh, just getting into the industry, you know. <laughs> so I got to watch some great detectives from, you know, American Gangster or Russell Crowe, from Donnie Wahlberg and Blue Bloods and stuff, and get to see these great actors play detectives. So I did, you know, I definitely was studying while I was on the other side. But um, they modeled Clive Babino off of Shaft, um, Cleavon Little, and Jordan Peele. So I did watch a lot of. Uh, Richard Roundtree, um, even Samuel Jackson, and the, and the current ones, and uh, I watched Blazing 
saddles. I had never seen it before. I, and I'm like, how did I not, how did I not see it? It's hilarious. And so I kind of took all those flavors and watched every Keen Peel uh, sketch and kind of, you know, took um, all those those characters and mold, meld them into one. So is your character a mostly comedic element, or is it? Is there a lot of serious? Stuff you know, there? he goes back and forth because you know he takes his job very, very seriously. Right. You know, he takes it very, very seriously, but you know he he he'll, he'll crack a joke or two here and there, and he's very, very sarcastic at times. Yeah. So, um, but um, yeah, he goes back and forth. He goes back and forth. Oh, they're just shooting a, a they're shooting a couple of scenes. Okay. Yeah. But have they shot anything else? Uh, like reading the other scripts? Uh, no. Just the Bible. What? Yeah, I just yeah we haven't um they kind of gave us um oh thank you uh you know you know uh hints of where our characters are gonna go you know in terms of Clive's gonna get more you know more successful at at, at um. I solving these cases, and then um, as he gets more successful, this underground world starts to really, really starts to surface. You know, um, and I'm not sure how I deal with that, but I know that's going to happen.